congratulations. You know, Olo and Pilo. Now what? Every Cuber's main focus after learning Olo and PLL should be getting better at look ahead during F2L, since F2L takes up the majority of your solves and it's important to be good at it. However, just doing F2L is boring, and learning a couple more algorithms are super helpful and will contribute to making you faster. So what's the best thing to learn? Well there are a lot of sets to explore, but ultimately it determines on how fast you already are. Let's go over the options first and then decide which is best for you. First, we have VLS, an Alexa that lets you skip OLL during the last pair of your solve when you have this case. This Alexa has 432 algorithms, and in my opinion, it's not worth it. First of all, skipping OLL might not even be a good thing, as you can influence or predict the PLL and possibly get a PLL skip by doing a different ALG. This can save you more time, as having a PLL skip as opposed to a bad PLL is a lot better than getting an OLL skip as opposed to a bad OLO. Plus, the algs are pretty long and it's sometimes faster to just do the F2L case in the OLO as it's better ergonomically. I don't think it's a good time commitment and it's better to spend your time learning something more practical. However, there is a much easier subset of VLS called Winter Variation. This Alexa is definitely worth it to learn because it's so easy. There are only 27 algorithms and they're all really easy to recognize and very intuitive. When I attempted to learn winter variation, I learned it in only one sitting because the recognition in the algs are so easy. You can even get by with just learning 15 of the algs because the other 12 with no corners on top are a bit hard to recognize and are kind of not worth it. Winter variation cases don't show up that often but when they do, you can take advantage of them, as their low move count often saves you quite a bit of moves and time from recognition. If you have good recognition, you can already tell what the PLL is going to be while you're executing the out, which can be very helpful and cut down a lot of time. So the next Alex set you can learn is COLL, an Alex set that gives you an EPLL case when you have an OLL with all of the edges oriented. Learning the full Alexa is definitely not worth it, as doing it soon or anti-soon is so much faster than any of the alternate Alex to influence an EPLL case. If you really want to learn COLL, you should learn the T, U, L, and H cases, because they're all ergonomic and can be done as fast as the regular Alex. However, I don't recommend learning COLL Alex because there's one major problem with the concept. Suppose you have this COLL. If you do the regular ALG, you get a J perm. If you do the COLL case, you get a Z perm. A J perm is clearly a lot faster than a Z perm, and you're forcing a Z perm by doing a longer ALG rather than doing a shorter ALG and getting a better PLL. In fact, most of the adjacent PLLs are almost as fast as an H perm or U perm. However, you can still use COLL in a different way. And it's really easy. You only have to learn two algs per case other than the soons. One regular alg to solve the case, and one alg to do only when you're about to get a diagonal PLL when you do the regular alg. That means you only have to learn four algs, because if you know OLL, you already know the algs to do when you're not gonna get a diag case. Use COLL only when you're about to get a diag PLL, not in any other case. And last, we have ZBLL. This ALG set has 472 ALGs, and it's a huge time commitment to learn, but it can save you a lot of time in solves. When you get an OLL with all four corners oriented, you can do a ZBLL ALG and solve last layer in only one step. Learning ZBLL is a long process but some of the algs are really easy to learn and the way that most people approach it is to learn one or two at a time and implement them into your solves. Don't try to cram the algs, it's not gonna work. At the highest echelon of cubing, knowing a lot of ZBLL almost becomes necessary. So it's a good idea to start learning if you plan on getting there. So now that we've taken a look at the popular alg sets to learn, which one do you go for? Well, it actually depends on how fast you are right now if we have two cubers that are averaging 15 seconds and one decides to spend a month learning ZBLL, 
while the other spends a month focusing on look ahead. The Cuber that spent time learning look ahead is going to improve a lot more than the one that learned CBLL Alex. This is because their look ahead was slowing them a lot more than their last layer was, and they had a lot of room for improvement in their look ahead. On the other hand, if two Cubers averaging 7 seconds did the same thing, the one that learned ZBLLs would probably be faster, as there's a lot more room for improvement in the last layer, because their F2L is at a level that's pretty hard to improve upon. If you're averaging above 15 seconds, I recommend just sticking on working on F2L for a while until you become sub-15. If you're averaging anywhere between 10 and 15 seconds, I recommend learning winter variation and the COLL cases that avoid the diagonal PLL. If you're sub-10, I recommend beginning to learn a few ZBLLs at a time, and you should also learn winter variation and the four COLL cases if you don't know them already. Alright guys, that's gonna be all for this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with a friend. I'll see you in my next video.